Man, have we been taking a look at a lot of things concerning the PlayStation Classic, but today I think we have one of the most interesting things, in my opinion, as far as accessories go. So today, we're going to be talking about how to make our PlayStation Classic portable with this G-Story 11.6-inch monitor with console case. Pretty awesome stuff. So this not only can be used for the PlayStation Classic, but for any of your other mini consoles, your uh, Raspberry Pi with Retro Pi, your Super Nintendo Classic Edition, NES Classic Edition, the upcoming Sega Genesis Mini, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. I thought this was really neat, and I've been seeing quite a bit of talk about this and a lot of cool things being said. So definitely wanted to check it out. So here it is. Uh, this thing, it goes for a little bit of money. Considering that a normal case is about 20 to 30 bucks, depending, uh, this is quite a bit more expensive, but because it includes a monitor in it, uh, so you have to keep that in mind. But there's really not much to the packaging here. Uh, there's just some images about like strapping it in. And that's about it. So we're going to figure this thing out. Let's open her up. Get out of here. So there it is. Wow, it does have that, that, uh, oh man, it's like a good foot and a half away from me and I could smell it. It does have that, that almost cigarette type smell to it, that chemically cigarette smell. It's, it's hard to describe. If you guys have bought any of these cases, I probably have like right over there in the corner, a bunch of different cases for classic edition systems, uh, my PlayStation VR, stuff like that. Every single one of those, man, they're, they have a smell to them, but it seems like as of late, a lot of these cases have an even worse smell. They, they really have that weird cigarette smell. Like, I think they might have, like, they might be smoking cigarettes while they're, while they're making these things. You know what I'm saying? That's the way it seems, anyway. Here's the uh, carbon to not eat. Smell is, it smells like it a little bit, but it's not coming from that. That's, that's for sure. Uh, so here we go. What do we got in here? So there's the monitor. There's no protective uh, layer over that, but all right. Got some paperwork. G story. Uh, thank you for your order, Mofo. We are fully dedicated, 100% satisfaction on our products and customer service. Okay, that's just an invitation to, uh, you know, post a review. Pretty much the way it seems. Uh, warranty card, probably is worth as much as the paper it's printed on. Uh, and the user manual, a lot of stuff with the user manual here. Do not modify or tamper with this device. All right, uh, instructions for installation. We're just gonna figure it out. Uh, it's in Chinese and English, so that's a good thing. Okay, now let me try to see these. There's speakers in here too, but like this fabric that that's around the speakers kind of deformed a little bit, but not a huge deal. It's just, it's like an insert over the top. It's like this one's kind of popped in, but that's okay. Oh man, that smell is horrible. <laughs> the smell is really bad. So here's all the connections. Looks like, uh, let's, we're going to get this thing in and test it out. Looks like you have a shoulder strap you could put on there, carry this thing around. Like you a important dude or something. Oi! You could strap in. Um, so we have our cables and they're all plugged into this like interface box right here. Um, and up in the front, let me try to manipulate some of this stuff a little bit. Uh, up in the front, you do have uh, buttons for the display. Power button, menu, exit, okay, left and right. It says G story on it. Up here we do have uh for headphones, there's two headphone jacks. I don't know how easily you could see that, but there's two headphone jacks up here. That's cool. Uh, your HDMI, your DC out to the PlayStation Classic. So this plugs into the PlayStation Classic and our DC in. So the one thing with this um, is we're gonna have to we're gonna have to use an external power supply to power up the whole thing, which is not necessarily a big deal. 
So let's go ahead and get everything plugged in and test this out. So I'm gonna use this power supply instead. I have several Anker power supplies. Uh, this one's a little big, it's it kind of hard to fit it in the case. Uh, this smaller one, I can get it in there a little better. Uh, you just have to make sure five volt uh, power supply, uh, battery bank, whatever you wanna use. So there we go, we have that plugged into the DCN, five volt, three amp, we should be good to go. Uh, and then we do have our HDMI cable and our power for the PS Classic ready to go. So I'm using the OTG cable. Uh, we have our 256 gigabyte drive plugged in the back. Here is our power. Let's, well, let's not drop stuff. Let's go ahead and plug this in and get everything strapped in. Let's do it. So there's our power. Sorry, HDMI. The HDMI seems like, you know, it's if it was like a flex cable, it would probably be a little nicer. Um, but let's go ahead and get that in. We got everything plugged in, ready to go. As you see, like, uh, got to kind of manipulate, manipulate the uh, HDMI. I might have to try to find like a little uh, flex one or something. So there we go got it strapped in you see the lights are all on as well power light power light let's go ahead and manipulate that a little bit so everything's plugged in let's see if we can uh if we could fit this power supply in here these straps on the side are pretty much for your controllers uh but it seems like you know you could you can use it to pop in a power supply that fits nicely right there then like you could, it, it's really, like I said, it's for your, your controllers. You'd put one right there, one right here. Um, not really an extra space for a power supply if you're using two controllers. Uh, so you may need to keep that on your person, <laughs> however you say it. So there we go. I did like pull this through. Um, it kind of works a little nicer if you have the, the screen in the back, but it's multiple positions uh, that you can have it. So. I'm gonna pull that out, and get the Velcro action going. Everything's popped in, but we didn't power on the screen. <laughs> so the screen button is down here underneath, which I already showed. We're just gonna turn it on. G story. So our screen is on, power is ready. Let's go ahead and re-angle so we can see what this looks like. So here we go, powering on the PlayStation. Um, I don't know if the monitor powered back up. Oh, monitor's still on, we're good. And that volume is loud coming through these two speakers on the side right here. Really dig that. We can, we can I think we could hide this maybe a little bit. If you're gonna keep it like that, you can hide it, either fish it through or do that. Um, wow, like I'm sitting at an angle already and the viewing angles are perfect. Like I'm not getting any kind of crazy dimming. You might see some uh, glare just because of my lights, uh, but nothing else. So let's actually pull this out. The one thing when I was uh, recording this, there's some Velcro on the back. These like came off initially and I wasn't sure where they were supposed to be, if they were supposed to be on the feet here um, or not. And there's these little plastic covers on the side. This one had was just loose. I had to put it back on. Um, but there you go. You can you can move the monitor all the way to the front, uh, put it in the middle, or put it all the way to the back. However you choose, you keep it like this. Uh, you can easily, uh, you know, have uh, access to the buttons on your your mini system. But not really so much for the uh, actual unit itself. You could kind of feel them if you if you finger it a little bit in the slit right here, uh, but you don't really see the buttons. So. That might be a little bit of a con, you know, having to keep undoing this uh, Velcro strap, but hey, it, it is what it is. Let's 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 uh, let's take a look at some auto bleam action, jump into a game. This screen is looking legit. It is a 1080p screen, so you can use this for, you know, several different things, whatever mini console you want. It's, you know, marketed for the PlayStation Classic, but definitely use it for whatever you want. Let me find something to jump into demonstrate a little bit. I'm not getting any weird blurring. 
uh, nothing like that. Everything's looking uh, fairly legit. The screen is really nice. That's that's one of the the main things I'm uh, impressed by so far. You know, it does stink. It smells pretty freaking horrible. Um, the quality uh, could be a little bit better for the price. This thing uh, cost me around 115, 120 dollars. I believe right now it's listed at like 130 around that, but. Uh, when I ordered it, it was listed like that, and when I put it in my cart on Amazon, it actually had a discount that came off of it. Uh, so I don't know if that's still going on, but occasionally these go on sale, that kind of thing. They do make them for other systems as well, but I thought this one was really neat. So, man. Yeah, the viewing, the viewing angle to me is not too bad here. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is looking really good in my opinion. I, I dig this. I mean, to be able to use Raspberry Pi or PlayStation Classic, any of these mini classic edition systems, uh, you know, the Super Nintendo NES, the upcoming Sega Genesis Mini, the Turbo Graphics Mini. I don't know. The Turbo Graphics might be a little big, uh, you know, from the pictures I've seen. Maybe the PC Engine Mini will fit in here really nicely. But I mean, you could, you could do all that stuff with this $20 PlayStation Classic, so it's really cool. You know, I understand this is not going to be an accessory for everybody, but I think the versatility, uh, being able to use this with whatever you want, including a $20 PlayStation Classic, yes, this thing is over $100, and it's a case, but it comes with a screen and speakers and all your hookups, minus your power supply, so that is an additional cost. Um, especially if you really want this to be portable, you're going to have to have a battery bank power supply type thing like one of these onkers uh, i will link to the ones i use which i i do love them i've been using them for years never had an issue um but that is an additional cost but if you're if you're like me and you're just you love stuff like this and you could actually get some use out of it i i think the price is okay i could always wish things were cheaper not gonna lie but with the quality of this screen man the speakers are pretty, pretty good. And the, the ability to use uh, headphones if you want to, that's really awesome as well. So there we go. We took a look at a little PlayStation action here. Let's get hit in the head by crates. Man. So let's, let's get out of that and uh, check out, uh, let's check out something in Retro Boot. Retro Arc. Sonic the Hedgehog, why not? Sonic CD. Take a quick look. The colors are fine. I mean, I'm hoping the colors come through good on my camera, but uh, the colors are as expected. I'm not seeing anything crazy. Uh, let me see, we do have those options, like a menu that we can go into. Okay, so uh, we can increase the backlight, lower the backlight. So we're dimming it a little bit. So we have those options. Contrast, our volume, our temperature, medium, warm, RGB, user. We have more picture settings, contrast, sharpness, black level, DCR, Eco, low blue light, noise reduction, temperature, gamma, sleep mode, language, OSD, our on-screen display, transparency, all that good stuff. Uh, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. So there we go. Close that back up. Sonic Boom. So there we go, a little Sonic CD. I think things are looking good. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. Uh, you know, a few little quality issues aside, um, I'm, I'm actually really happy with this the more I mess around with it, uh, the more that I look at it. You know, the Velcro stuff, I mean, how else could have they done it? it would have been better if uh, there was a little less Velcro, maybe a, a different kind of strapping system for some of this stuff, because uh, Velcro does kind of get annoying after a while. But 
it does look pretty cool. So pretty simple solution to making a portable PlayStation Classic or other Classic Edition system. Um, I think it's really neat. Like, you know, we already have the battery in here. Let's just put our controller in there, pop all that back in, you know, just a little sloppy action right now. Close her up, put our screen back, zipped up. We're ready to go use the bathroom, sit down for a while, pop this out, start playing some PlayStation, go to Starbucks, get some coffee, uh, go hang out somewhere for road trips, whatever the case may be. Uh, this is really neat. You see, I just closed it up. Everything that we needed to play this portably is in there. Power and everything good to go. I'm happy with it. So really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Let me know what you think of this thing. Have you guys tried it out yet? Uh, do you have one? Does it meet your expectations? Is this something you're interested in? With that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye. Thumbs up. Two of them this time. What? Bye.